so glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the Thomas and Mack Center just off the Vegas Strip for a much-anticipated main event. Ten rounds in the welterweight division. And the anticipation for this bout has grown as the week has gone on. A lot of talk behind these two. Now it's time to walk the walk. The cannon's making his way down to the ring. And he does so with a confidence where he knows he put all the hard work in and he's ready to explode inside those ropes. Rodriguez's entrance here, what a ring walk. Just brimming with confidence, ready for the task at hand. All right, fellas, let's have a good clean fight. Touch them up and let's go. Scheduled to go the full 10 if we get that far. Round one underway. Able to cover up that gut. Good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. Teddy, if I put two fighters in front of you and said you can train, both these guys have equal talent, but you can train the lefty or you can train the righty, who would you pick? Well, usually the lefty has a little advantage because you haven't seen them too often. And that's always going to be something that's going to really serve them a little bit. But they might not have an advantage in the business end of it. A lot of guys won't fight your fighter. And then what are you going to do? Not able to land the uppercut. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Finish with a hook. Good accurate hook by Rodriguez. So he decides to go downstairs early on, and I think he'll be happy with that decision later on. Well, it tells you that he's a well-prepared fighter. His corner came in here with a good game plan. They understood what they had in front of him, a guy that's going to move a little bit. Start going downstairs, taking the air out of the tires, and later on, he'll be in front of you. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. <gasps> Real deals able to land a good, solid left hand. The last thing either guy wants to be here, Teddy, is one-dimensional. The last thing you want to be in anything to be successful is one-dimensional. I mean, if you're a comedian, you don't want to be saying the same jokes all the time. Your crowd's not going to be there. Well, your opponent is going to be there all night long if you do the same thing. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Oh, 
takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. You can almost see it just by the way a fighter sits down on their stool at the end of a round. As we come to the end of this round, you can tell that he's full of confidence and he can't wait to get right back out there and continue doing what he's doing. Well, you're right. The first thing that I notice is his back's not leaning against the corner pad. You know, that's a defeated fighter. That's a fighter. He don't want to go back. Something bad happened to him. You know, he's leaning back like that. You have to pick him up from the stool. He's got all his weight forward. He can't wait to get going. You know that he's positive. You know that he had a good round. Here we go, round two is underway. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Uppercut! Uppercut! Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. Yeah. Not able to land the head shot. Rodriguez is getting back to basics. A good, solid jab. rid of that. It was intended for his head. Good solid right hand by Real Deal. Body shot. And he ties Body up shot. on the inside. Solid. He goes up top and gets to him. Hammering the head. is showing you what he is made of getting up off the canvas after being knocked down not able to connect with the uppercut blocks the headshot Able to dismiss that body shot. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by the cannon. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. The cannon's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Round comes to an end. Knockdown was scored in that round. So, Teddy, you're working the corner of the guy who was just on the floor. What are you telling him? You're telling him that if he's been down before, you want to actually use that for a positive. I know that sounds crazy, but you say, hey, you've been here before. You've overcome it. You want to remind him that he can get back. And then the most important thing, Joe, is you tell him why he got dropped. Oh, so when he goes he out there, he's not just scared just going into a dark place saying, gee, it's going to happen just, again. He just, knows he has control. All right, listen. We need to create more counters, OK? Rodriguez's corner now with a big task at hand. They've got to make sure that their fighter has his senses back after being knocked down. Yeah! That's it, just like that. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. What a solid left by the cannon. Wake up. 
Well, this can become a bore, and he's making a decision to do it as he ties up again. Keep working the jab. Good, good. <laughs> and he clinches yet again. And now looking to hang on. Tried the hook, didn't get it. Rodriguez has got to prove a few things here. Number one, he's got to prove to his opponent that he's on good ground after being knocked down in the last round. But he's also got to prove it to the referee, too. Yeah, he does. And his corner. Because his corner, I just noticed, they put that nice towel work. over nice their shoulder. Work. So they know the condition their fighter's in. They know their responsibility. And they're ready to act on it. <laughs> Halfway through this round here. Now a well-placed hook to the head. Well off the mark by Rodriguez. Relax, relax. How about that left hand? And he's holding. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Do that again. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with this counter punching. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. You got this one. Locked that away, it was targeted for his head. Last 10 seconds. Nice block that time, it was intended to the head. And round three comes to an end. Keep your hands up. Keep them up, all right? I mean, you know, he caught you with your hands down. Let's keep them up. Listen, he's gonna come forward this round, all right? Keep that jab moving. Keep him away from you, all right? Keep your guard up, all right? You're not protecting yourself. We got it. Start of round number four as we look at Teddy's scorecard. The cannon's knockdown is a big difference maker here. And that's the thing. He has the power to separate himself a little bit in this fight. His opponent doesn't have that. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counterpunching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. Hitting his mark there, going upstairs. Jab, jab. <laughs> oh, you're doing great. Could this be the start of a big comeback? He went from owning this fight to now nearly down and out. You know, that's what makes boxing so great. Yeah. You can come back just like that. One punch at the right time. That was at the right time. Keep moving. Keep moving. The cannon stunned and he is hurt. Clinch. He goes from damaged goods to defensive goods. 
Yeah, because right now he's fighting on instinct. He's doing things without even thinking. Just automatic things. Things that he was taught five years ago, three years ago, that maybe he thought about, but he didn't do. Now they're just coming out. He's just naturally surviving. That was a fine block by Rodriguez. Rodriguez is hurt. Wow, is he hurt. He was the one doing the hurt just moments ago. Well, he's been reminded about defense. He didn't want that reminder. It just came in the form of a left hook. Head and body, head and body. Locks away that headshot. Ten seconds remaining in this round. Listen, that's the kind of round that puts fans on their feet but the kind of round that gets a corner man anxious. What do you tell a guy after he's been in a back and forth brawl like that? Move your head, keep your hands up, you know, don't get caught with those shots. We worked in the gym to get away from those shots. And one other thing, you gotta give him a little confidence, remind him, hey, we trained for a tough fight, you're ready for this. All right, breathe, good, deep breath, deep breath. Get some water in. You're good, you all right? You're okay, right? Breathe for me. Now listen, he threw a wide punch and he caught you. You know, tighten up your punches, all right? All right, I need you. Start of a new round. Rodriguez is making it look like the start of a fresh fighter. Remember, he was stunned in that last round, but Teddy, he looks fully recovered now. Well, it tells me two things. One, he has good genetics. He recovers fast, you know, physically. But it also tells me he had a good camp. He came here in great shape, and he's getting the benefit of that right now. He missed with that headshot. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. You're doing great. Double up on your punches. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Well-placed hook there. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. One, two, one, two. Rodriguez's punch didn't come close. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by the cannon. Jump on! Nice! Oh. Move your Get head. out of the way from those punches! Move your head! Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. Real deal's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Hey, you gotta see that coming now. Let's go. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round.
this has been a hotly contested war throughout, and you just have a sense that it's going to end at any moment in these later rounds. Yeah, these guys are not saving anything. They're going for broke right from the beginning. Listen, I need to see some counter punches, okay? Whatever he misses, counter. Pace yourself, okay? No wild punches. Pick your punches. Here we are getting ready for the second half of this fight as we've reached the sixth round. Nelly ties up there. Oh, good defense there. That was a fine block by Real Deal. Really frustrating his opponent now. The cannon so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't. And it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now. Rodriguez has been stunned. Put him away. Beat him to the punch. Keep working the body. Now hugging on the inside. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. this round well supposed to be fighting but instead he's hugging real deal stunned and he is hurt big shot can he get up from this he's done it before but can he get up from a second time down Rodriguez is rising back up. That takes some guts. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Took a go of it to the body, but came up empty. Real deal's in a cycle right now that's not paying off for him. He has been busy. Yes, he's committed to trying to be on the attack, but not enough of these punches are landing. Now, I would not call this guy in, from what I've seen, to paint my house. Because, I mean, this guy looks like he paints graffiti boards. I mean, he's just throwing stuff in there, like you said. And it's just, it's not, it's not making a picture you want to see. It's not accurate. It's not effective. Working our way towards the bell. Last 10 seconds of the sixth. Oh, and there you go. Oh, that's a big shot. Rodriguez is hurt. He's down and hurt. Can he beat the count? Right now, he's thinking about another line of employment. If there were 30 more seconds in that round, I don't know that he survives. But now, he gets the benefit of the 60-second break. Yeah, he gets the benefit, and he's got to show his experience now to kind of have a short memory. I know that sounds crazy, but forget about what happened and find a way to have confidence. Find something to hold on to going out for the next round. Just, 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 just keep it up. Just keep it up. That's it now, all right? It's, it's nice work, guys. Rodriguez's hope for an evening going his way seems like it is out the door and gone. He went down in that last round, and he's been down numerous times. Oh! 
Oh! And he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying, falling like a sack of potatoes. The fight is over. Rodriguez is a knockout victim. He couldn't beat the count. That's what you want to see, a guy who can close the show and finish with style. He ends up a knockout victor tonight. And that's what his trainer wanted. His trainer was even telling him, step it up a little bit because he knew this was possible, and they got it. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us ringside.